Hello friends. So today we'll discuss about latest CEA guidelines. So in this presentation, we'll study about uh, what is CEA, what is exactly the role of CEA, uh, what are the standards, what are the new amendments of the CEA. So first of all, we'll discuss about CEA. Uh, CEA is a Central Electricity Authority. Uh, which comes under Section 73 of Electricity Act 2003, which is formed by central government in 2003. So what exactly is the role of CEA is to advise the central government on the matters relating to the national electricity policy, to specify the technical standards for construction of electrical plants, electricity lines, and connectivity to the grid. Means uh, from uh, right now from the installation to the supply, and testing and commissioning, all the terms uh, for the required standards, uh, all the terms or all the uh, whatever the required material, what should be the standards of that material, all the uh, parameters are discussed and uh, it, it is in the form of standards and in the form of regulations are published by CEA. Uh, next goal is to specify the safety requirements for construction, operation and maintenance of electrical plants and electrical lines. So this is the topic which is major for us. What are the safety standards required for electrical instruments, electronics instruments uh, required in latest industries or required in latest updated uh, areas and scenarios. Uh, the next role of CA is to specify the grid standards for operation and maintenance of transmission lines. So this is basically about CA only. So the CA has published a Majors relating to safety and electricity supply regulations in 2010, by which they have published a supply, installation, testing, and commissioning of all electrical areas specific, specifically. Uh, the standards also and the how to test it, how to commission it, and how to uh, maintain the records of it. So all the rules are uh, rules and regulations are published in 2010. So latest amendment has been published in 2019. Uh, by the Central Electricity Authority regarding uh, measures to relating to safety and electric supply amendment. So in this uh, amendment, latest uh, electrical vehicles, uh, what are the requirements of electrical vehicles, what are the standards of electrical vehicles uh, that are published. So uh, in 2019 amendment, uh, chapter 11 is added in Central Electricity Authority that majors relating to safety and electric supplies. The regulations is published in 2010, in which a 11 chapter is added for specifically for safety provisions for electric vehicle charging stations. Uh, so under this chapter, seven rules defined for standards of installation of electric charging station for vehicles. So further we'll discuss about uh, in this chapter, seven rules, what exactly the safety rules should be provided. So first rule is a general safety requirement for electric vehicle charging stations. So what are the general safety requirements should be there for electric charging stations that are included? So all electric vehicle charging stations shall be designed, installed, tested, certified, inspected, and connected in accordance with provision of this chapter. So all the parameters will be considered according to this chapter. Uh, all the electric vehicle charging stations shall be provided with protection against the overload of input supply and output supply fittings. So whatever with the AC or DC alternating current and uh, alternating current and direct current uh, that will be uh, supplied if, uh, required for from charging station to the electric vehicle that should be protection again should be provided like MCB should be provided or the uh, protected circuit should be provided uh, that general safety uh, parameter is considered. All electric vehicle charging point should be 800 millimeter above the finish down level be installed so that any socket outlet of the supply is at least. So 800 mm socket should be provided. So we have an image like uh, this. So the ground from the ground level, at least it should be a 0.8 meter or 800 mm so that electric vehicle can easily get charged and the socket is uh, provided. The next is a cord extension set or second supply lead shall not be used in addition to the supply lead for the connections of the electric vehicles to the electric vehicle charging point and it shall be so constructed so that it cannot be used a cord extension set. 
so extension set of the in electric charging stations are not allowed it is prohibited uh, next point is the electric vehicle parking place shall be such that the connection on the vehicle when the park for charging shall be within 5 meter from the electric vehicle charging point the here is the range is provided the range between electric vehicle and electric charging station maximum should be of 5 meters uh, not more than that then next is portable socket outlets are not permitted to be used for electric vehicle charging so as you can see the portable electric uh, 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 sockets are not allowed direct connections from the supply should be there so uh, portable connection sockets uh, might be create a problem regarding uh, for the short circuit it might create a short circuit or electrocution for to the humans so that's why they have provided a general circuit for that a suitable lightning protection system shall be provided for the electric vehicles charging station as per indian standard is or iec now iec is international electrotechnical commission which uh, create uh, which tests and creates the standards for elect electrical and electronics parts only so for electric lighting protection system is 62305 i iec 62305 should be followed uh, next term is the electric vehicle charging station shall be equipped with a protective device against the uncontrolled reverse power flow from the vehicle electric vehicle charging points shall not be energized the charging cable when the vehicle connector is unlocked and the voltage at which the vehicle connector unlocks shall be lower than 60 volt so the protections of the uh, electric charging stations uh, for that required capacity has been given uh, next rule is earth protection system for the charging station uh, what are the earthing protection systems are required for the station the parameters i have been given so the first is shall have residual operating current for not greater than 30 milli ampere it should be interrupt all live conductor so it will be uh, when the earthing protection system interrupt all live conductor it can uh, perform at actual time the next point is have a performance at least equal to the type a or even compatible with is 72 2018 all residual current devices used for protection of supplies to electric vehicles shall be permanently marked to identify their functions and the locations of charging station or socket outlet they protect so residual current uh, device is just uh, i have given a sample of that uh, it used uh, in a electric vehicles so we can call it as a residual current device rcd or rcm residual current monitor so basically it detects the current leakage current measurement and gives signals to the uh, monitor so uh, whatever the leakage current will be there it will detect it and uh, we can take precautionary measures so for that purpose a uh, rcd is used to detect the nature signals and to sense the leakage current so for safety matters rcds are used majorly uh, next point is each electric vehicle charging station shall be supplied individually by dedicated final sub circuit protected by over current protected device so the over current protected device should be used it should be comply with iec standard iec 609472 iec 609462 or the iec 60269 series and the over current protected device shall be part of switchboard the coordination of various protected device shall be required so the coordination is uh, like from right from incoming supply uh, from given from the government to the electric vehicle whatever the protected device will be there should all be coordinated uh, next point is earthing of all electrical vehicle charging station shall be as per is 732 so here are some uh, sockets of electric charging uh, electric vehicles so in america J one seven seven two models are used for AC and C six X one model used for DC. Right uh, from America, Japan, Europe, China, and currently the biggest market of the electric vehicle is Tesla. So here are some uh, AV charging connector are uh, I have given to understand it how it operates or how it looks like. So as right uh, for IEC standard six two one nine six as per IEC code they have. a design and used the third rule is a uh, requirement to prevent fire for electric vehicle charging station 
so fire fighting system for charging station shall be provided in, uh, provided in accordance with the provision of this regulation so right now the central government has not given a detailed explanation about what kind of fire fighting system could be used but as we know that uh, as per the npc or as been the fire act uh, in electric room sprinkler systems are not allowed because uh, the sprinkler systems are omitted in electric all the electric appliances or you can say in a lift rooms also because water is a good conductor of electricity so there might be a chances of when the when the short circuit will happen there might be chances of electrocution to the humans or the present operator will be there it, it might be dangerous to him so for that alternating uh, alternating fire fighting systems uh, shall be used uh, so currently uh, in uh, latest charging stations if the multiple charging stations are uh, available for that fire hydrant system and fire extinguisher like co2 fire extinguisher is good for electricity the, they are using uh, for that system uh, according to the hazardous category or according to the usage of electric charging station the hazardous category has been defined currently and right so for that the fire fighting uh, systems is complied next is enclosure of charging stations shall be made for fire retardant material with self extinguishing property and free from halogen so the extinguisher should be free from halogen for whatever the extinguishers of halogen they are completely banned Uh, fire detection alarm and control system shall be provided as per 11 india standard so uh, for that is codes also have been given uh, power supply cables used in charging station or charging by shall conform iec 628931 and its relevant parts uh, next will is testing of charging station how should it should be tested all the apparatus of charging station shall have insulation resistance resistance uh, value as stipulated in the relevant iec 618511 Uh, the owner of charging station shall ensure that the tests are as specified in the manufacturer's instruction for the residual current devices the charging station has been carried, uh, carried out so we have seen uh, these are the charging station uh, you can see there is a tata power have uh, have been installed this uh, charging station in that area so tata power will create a sop for that for the owner or for the occupier how it should be tested every day or how it should be testing in a particular day uh, to operate it or to maintain it so next is inspection and periodic assessment of charging station every charging station shall be tested and inspected by the owner or the electric inspector or the chartered electric electrical safety engineer before energization of charging station the owner of the charging station shall be ensured that the test and inspection of the charging station is being carried out every year in initial period of the first year three years after the energization of charging station and every four years of thereafter the owner of charging station shall establish and implement a safety assessment program for regular periodic assessment of the electrical safety of charging station so for that inspection purpose specifically in regulations all the criteria has been given uh, six is maintenance of records the owner of charging station shall keep a records regarding to design construction and labeling to the compatible with the supply of standard voltage at normal frequency of 50 hertz so in india we have used 50 hertz of uh, for electricity purpose for charging station the owner of charging station shall be kept records of relevant test certificate as indicated in this regulation as per iec 61851 the owner of the charging station shall keep records of the results of every inspection testing and periodic assessment and details of any issues observed during assessment and actions required to be taken in relation to those issues so owner will inspect it also it will test he will test it and the periodic assessment will be done and the record will be maintained the owner of charging stations shall retain a copy of all record as specified in sub regulation 1 2 3 of above either in hard form or in electronic form for at least 7 years shall provide a copy of the records of the official during inspection uh seventh is international standard for charging station so currently the central government has just issued some regulations for electric vehicles but right now uh, as we have a uh, bureau of indian standards for uh, particularly for uh, every product uh, the research is going on so completely uh, the central government is completely depending upon the international standard for there are two types of electric charging stations alternating current uh, charging station and direct current charging stations so for that uh, they have specified uh, the uh, 
charging station should be comply with IEC standard. For the IEC uh, alternating current charging station, IEC 61851, one, IEC 61851-21, and IEC 61851-22. Uh, these are used. And for direct electric direct current charging station, IEC 61851-1, IEC 61851-21, IEC 61851-23, IEC 61. 851-24 should be used. Where the connection point is installed outdoors or the damp location or near a damp location, the equipment shall have a degree of protection at least of IP exposure, that is ingress protection code in accordance with IEC 60529. So these are the international standards uh, that should be complied with while uh, the manufacturer should be uh, used to install the charging station in uh, these kind of areas. So these are the latest guidelines of CEA, uh, all the seven uh, rules of chapter 11 explained. Thank you.